Don't come at me like that, bro. Come at me. No, no, no. He just came at you. Why? Because I'm recording. Come out. Bro. Come out. Hey, Do you have anything on you that's, that's shot? Right my man. Stop, man. Stop. I'm trying to record you. You're freaking you. me out, and I don't want to do this. Can you just make sure? Why am I freaking you out? You get to grab me for your safety when you just saw me get assaulted? The moment the cop walks up to you and says, hey, what are you doing? I invoke my First Amendment right to be press. That's how you do it. Whether you have the card in your hand or not, the words you say are, I invoke my First Amendment right to be the press. What he came the at me. Right, but why? Because I'm f***ing recording right here in the corner. Why are you recording? Because I could record anything I can. We're good. You can't be coming up to me and touching me like y'all could do whatever the f*** y'all want. No, you already violated me. I'm done talking to you. I'm done talking to you. You already violated me. Keep violating the Constitution, f***ing p***. What you gonna do about it? Billy? What? What's up? What's up? What's up? Don't come at me like that, bro. Okay, so the cops saw the whole thing, right? One guy walked across the street and assaulted another person. Don't come at me like that. Don't come at me. No, no, no. Well, put it over there, son. The cop walks up and says any words to you at all. Don't come at me. No, no, no. Well, put it over. Put the phone down while I'm talking to you, man. That's what he said. Number one, start filming. I invoke 1A. You say it right to the cop's face. You read the law if you want. 1A, filming cops, 2017, Turner versus Driver. You could show it right in his face if you want to. Cop approaches and says any words to you at all. While filming, I invoke the Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Fifth Amendment's unequivocal. Cop loses qualified immunity for questioning you. At that point, I would have then said, you're now impeding my First Amendment right. I want to watch what's happening now with the man who assaulted me and filmed that. You have all the rights in the world. You have to invoke those rights. Even as a First Amendment auditor, you have to say, I invoke my First Amendment right. Because otherwise, when you go to federal court, that cop is going to say, you know what? I was actually investigating an assault. I saw one man assault another man. So then the judge is going to say, well, then he didn't know he was violating your First Amendment right when he told you to put the phone down. He didn't know he was violating your First Amendment right when he told you to put the phone over there. Because right there, with him trying to chill his First Amendment right, he could sue him. Now, he didn't impede his First Amendment right. It was all talk. I'm just saying, you have to say what right he's violating or the judges will work against you. Over there, uh, I'm not putting on. He just came at you. Why? Because uh -huh. I'm recording. Why are you recording him? I'm not recording nobody. I'm recording everything I can see. Right, but he's mad at you because he thinks you're recording him. No, I'm recording everything I, I can see. You can keep recording, but while I'm, don't I'm touch talking me. to you, no, don't don't touch my me. Man. Hey, you can keep recording. <laughs> So the mistake that this auditor has made is he has not invoked his right and said out loud, I'm doing a First Amendment protected activity as a member of the press. I'm not going to do, not gonna do this. Do you have something on me. you that's, that's dangerous? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. That's do you have any weapons right. on you or something that's like that? Right. You know I'm going to touch you because I have to make... Put it in the comment section. O-T-V-O. Overturn Terry versus Ohio. How come this cop can do what he's doing right here? Ready? Pay very close attention to what happened in 1968. Watch carefully. Here's the difference between pre-1968 and after-1968. Don't touch I'm going to touch you because I have to make sure that you don't have weapons or anything don't like that. Get out here fighting in broad daylight. Now, that copper is doing a Terry stop on the victim of an assault. He's saying, I have to touch you to make sure you don't have weapons for officer safety. Terry versus Ohio gives him the right to grab a victim in the name of his safety. What kind of bozo clown world are we living in here today? Are you freaking kidding me? You get to grab me for your safety when you just saw me get assaulted? All I was doing is standing on the road filming and now you get to walk up and grab me? And why do you get to walk up and grab me? Terry versus Ohio. Get out of the car in the name of officer safety the cop watched him get assaulted it just is killing me and then he says these words to me 
Don't touch I'm going to touch you because I have to make sure that you don't have weapons or anything don't like that. You're out here fighting in broad daylight. He, he came at me. I understand that. Okay, but I got to make sure that you don't you have weapons. To me? Why are you here at me? Don't because touch you're me. a part of the fight, my man. Don't because he started. Do you have anything sharp don't on you? Touch me. My man. Bro, stop. Stop. Don't stop, my man. Stop. Come out. Come out. Look what this guy is doing to another man that he just watched get assaulted. He's done nothing wrong. He's committed no crime. He's literally filming on the street, which is supposed to be an American right to do. Do you have anything, yeah, on, yeah, you have anything yeah, on you that's, that's shot? Right now. My man, stop. Don't touch what are you bro. doing, man? You're stop. fucking touch me for My no man. fucking reason. He's got two cops on him. This is a Terry stop. They're now Terry stopping the victim of an assault for their safety. No, my man, we just want to make sure you don't have a weapon. You're out here fighting in broad daylight. Don't touch me, bro. So if you don't have a weapon, you'll be fine. Don't touch me. Do you have anything sharp on you? Don't touch me, bro. Stop. Look at what they're doing to him. I wanted to show this video because this is the epitome of what Terry versus Ohio has made into America. Without Terry versus Ohio, the cops could not grab him without probable cause. He could simply walk away. Why should we endorse Terry versus Ohio that allows cops to grab people based on their safety. Why are you here at me? Don't because you're me. a part of the fight, my man. Don't because he started. Do you have anything sharp don't on you? Don't touch me. My man, bro. Stop. Don't, stop. Don't stop, touch my me, man. Bro. Come out. Bro. Come out. Come out. Yo, do you have anything, yeah, yeah, you have yeah, anything yeah, on bro, you bro, that's, that's sharp? You right my man, stop. What are you bro. doing, man? You're stop. fucking touch me for my no man. fucking reason. No, my man. We just want to make sure you don't have a weapon. You're out here fighting in broad daylight. Don't touch me, So if you don't have a weapon, you'll be fine. Don't touch me. Do you have anything sharp on you? Touch me, bro. Stop, man. Stop. No, stop. You're fucking touching me. All right. Well, you're My man, do you have a knife because on you? Because you fucking started Do you have a knife on you? He has a lighter. Do you have a knife yeah, on you? Okay, okay, then don't. Yeah. Well, why y'all fucking touching oh, me? Man, my man, because you gotta calm down. I, you no, I'm not gonna calm down because you're fucking touching me. My man, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Because I can. It's my it's my constitutional right. I gotta right. make sure you don't have a weapon, man. That's I don't all. have no fucking pockets. You, you're violating my fucking. Okay, then that's fine. And you know what? You could take you're, it up with someone, but I'm gonna I, make sure. Hold, trust and believe. I'm uh, gonna. You definitely can, man. I'll give you all my info, but I gotta make sure that you. What's your name and badge number? The way this entire thing could have been avoided is if the moment the cop walked up to him. Don't come in. Okay, so right there at two minutes and 10 seconds, he says, put that phone down right there for you to take control of the stop. You have to immediately say, I invoke my first amendment right to be pressed. You have to say it. There's no invocation of rights. He does not say, I invoke my first amendment right to be pressed. And that's what you have to do. Every single one of you is a first amendment auditor. When you first say, you know what? I'm gonna film this cop. I'm gonna film this interaction. I I've been watching on YouTube, I'm gonna film the interaction because I don't know what could happen here. So I'm gonna go film this. And you walk up and you start filming those cops. The moment the cop walks up to you and says, hey, what are you doing? I invoke my first amendment right to be press. That's how you do it. Whether you have the card in your hand or not, the words you say are, I invoke my first amendment right to be the press. Please don't impede on my right. I'm filming this police interaction. We have a right right here. It says the 2017 case of Turner versus Driver, right to film the police. I invoke my fifth amendment right. Now the cop can't ask me any questions as I'm doing my very first audit. It's called the Hawthorne effect. We've talked about it. I've shown videos on it. It makes the cop feel like he's a fish in the fishbowl. Okay, then don't yeah. well, Why y'all fucking so touching me? I'm in, I'm in. Because you gotta calm down. I, you no, I'm not calm down because you're just... fucking touching me. My man, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Because I can. It's my, it's my constitutional I gotta right. Make sure... But you haven't invoked your rights. You, it's your constitutional right, but you haven't said out loud what rights you are invoking. And that is the most important thing. You to fight him with him. Press? My man, what? He came to at press? me. Right, but why? Because I'm fucking recording right here in the corner. But why are you and recording? He's telling him? me, oh, so, don't do that. Why are you recording him? Because I could record anything so I, I can. We're good. So, but, like, like, hey, but why? Oh, I don't answer no questions. I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Please don't question me any further without my attorney present. Not another question, you jackboot thug pig. Fucking touching me like y'all like y'all can do whatever the fuck y'all want. Dude, I'm trying to look, my man. Oh, look, my man, I'm trying to help you out. <laughs> Put a one in the chat if this guy is delusional. This cop has lost himself. No, you already violated me. I'm done talking to you. I'm done talking to you. You already violated me. I'm done talking to you. You know what, then? Then that's where we're at.
That's where we were before you came around, bro. I had the situation handled. I smacked the guy in the mouth and he was walking away. He didn't want any more of that juice. And you jumped in the scene and you effed up everything. Effed up traffic, effed up my day, effed up the other guy's day too. We could have just handled it like citizens and we did. You're the complete injection. I have a right to fucking defend I myself. I, I didn't fucking get- He didn't get beat up. He popped him in the mouth, bro. Watch the video back, moron. The other guy retreated. Nothing. You did. And no, I didn't. Did. No, the fuck I didn't. Out, no, the fuck I didn't. If you saw the whole thing, why'd you jump out and grab him? Why didn't you grab the other guy and check him for weapons? This man just had a camera in his hand. We all have egos. God knows I've got one as big as Manhattan. Don't tell the cop how you could beat that guy up or you beat him up. Don't make statements that you did acts of violence. Just don't. The cops are not your friend. They're keeping track of every little word you say. Remember, the charge of terroristic threats. You could be charged with terroristic threats. Do you see Do you see me and any marks on me? Do you see me on the ground or anything? No, right? I want you to get beat up, buddy. Yeah, oh, yeah. What kind of guy is this? He jumped out, grabbed him like a bully. Now he's just trying to antagonize the guy. And that's why he got punched in the mouth. Ooh, don't say that. I, know, I want everybody's name and badge number. 